Is it good when a Christian masturbates? Should a Christian masturbate? Personally, I will say no. And you may ask me, why did you say no? Why should a Christian not masturbate? I want to tell you that it is an error for a Christian to actually masturbate. Why am I saying this? When you become a Christian, in fact, I want to share with you about eight things that will happen when a Christian actually masturbates and watch pornography. But before I continue to tell you what will happen when you masturbate as a Christian and also watch pornography, I'm going to be telling you what happens when you give your life to Christ. That will also give you a glimpse of what will happen to you when you masturbate as a Christian. Now, when you become a Christian, you become a new creature. The Bible says, all things have become, uh, all things have become new. All things have gone. You become a brand new creature. And as a matter of fact, your sins have been washed away. You are now a new person in Christ. So when you become a new person in Christ, that does not mean that uh, your, your, your addictions are gone, your, your likes and dislikes were actually taken away. You are still that old person, but spiritually you have been transformed. You are now like a new person. But do you know that even as new as you are as a Christian, the devil does not want you to remain like that because your new life as a Christian will now become a threat to the devil. When you say a word, it actually comes to pass. When you decree a thing, it comes to pass. When you pray, the devil is always afraid. Therefore, he will want to corrupt you. He, he does not want you to actually become a threat to his kingdom. And he will begin to bring many of the old things that you used to do in order to become a source of temptation for you. One of the things that the enemy uses to make you not to be worthy, not to be able to become a threat for his kingdom is pornography and masturbation. Now, why should you as a Christian not engage yourself in masturbation, in pornography and other form of sexual immorality? Number one, when you masturbate as a Christian, it takes you away from the presence of God. You see, when you begin to live your life as a Christian, you, be, you stay in the presence of God. But when you masturbate, after masturbation, you will see that you, you no longer have that fellowship. You no longer sense that relationship that you usually have with God. You see, the sensing of the presence of God, you no longer feel it. Anytime you want to pray, you, you feel like not praying again. You feel like not getting close to God again. You feel like not actually uh, being close to God. You become afraid of the presence of God. And because of that, you begin to have this sense of unworthiness to approach the throne of God. You know what I'm saying. So, if you begin to experience that, masturbation or the devil has the ability to take you away from your place of covering you know in the presence of god is where you are covered is where you have immunity is where you have power as an individual as a christian but when you go away from the presence of god you have gone away from the source of power you have gone away from the source of your victory you have pulled your shield you have pulled your protection you have moved away from the presence of god and because of that, the enemy will now uh, have a glimpse or a road to come into your life. Number two reason why you should not masturbate as a Christian is that masturbation gives you a guilty conscience. What do I mean? When you masturbate, you see that you begin to feel guilty. You, you, the devil begin to accuse you before God. You begin to remember your sin. Instead of you to move from that level that you are to the next level, you no longer move. You begin to remember what you have done. You begin to feel rejected. You feel that God has abandoned you. No, God did not abandon you because 
you have involved yourself in masturbation and because of that the enemy now begin to accuse you he will now give you a guilty conscience your conscience will no longer be the conscience that is acceptable to the lord you become you begin to feel guilty and the enemy of the brethren will begin to accuse you that is the devil god does not accuse his children God does not abandon his children, but your conscience, through the instrumentality of the devil, will begin to accuse you. Number two, number three thing that will also happen to you is you are accused before God. Just like what I have said, the duty of the enemy is to accuse you. And when you check the Bible, the meaning of the word Satan is accuser, a person that stands against a person. So, when you masturbate, the enemy have a ground, a legal ground to begin to accuse you. Number four is that it gives the devil an opportunity to strike you as an individual. The Bible says, he that breaks the edge, the set, Satan will, will bite or the serpent will bite. So when you masturbate as a person that actually is pleasing to God or as a Christian, what, what you do is that you are beginning to give an opportunity to the devil. You are giving the devil an inroad. You are giving the devil a chance to actually come into your life, to begin to have a field day to do the things that he actually wants to do. Number five is that it prevents you from making heaven. Because of your guilty conscience, because of your, your running away from the presence of God, you no longer want to please God. You no longer want to do the things that are actually pleasing to God. And because of that, many people have become apostates. Many people have actually fallen away from the presence of God because of masturbation. Number six is that it doesn't resonate with your testimony. You cannot be proud to tell people that I actually masturbated. It is, it is, it is something that does not resonate, it does not actually befit you as a Christian. I'm not talking about hypocrisy. It's not something that you can share with people. It's not something you can actually go to the church or go to people to say, you know what, my brothers and sisters, my brothers and sisters, I masturbated. Praise the Lord. Nobody will want to hear that from you. When they hear that, you know there is a social stigma. Even if you think that it's not a Christ, it's not a sin, Oh, can you share it with somebody? Can you be proud to tell people that you are masturbating? So, now, when you masturbate, it does not resonate with your testimony. You know that God is against it inside of your spirit. Even when people tell you that what you are doing is not the same, inside of your heart, you know, you know fully well that, look, what you are doing does not glorify God. It does not bring glory to God. And anything that does not bring glory to God for you as a Christian is not a, is, is a sin, it does not befit God. Anything that is not done out of faith is a sin. Number seven is that it makes you vulnerable to spiritual attack. It opens an edge in your life for the enemy to come in. Just like I've explained to you, when you masturbate, it makes you vulnerable to the attack of the enemy. It makes you vulnerable. It makes your 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 protection to be with to actually be opened. It opens you up for the agenda of the enemy against your life. I believe that is not what you actually wanted. You can, as a child of God, guide against pornography, guide against addiction, and you will see God in action in your life. Then, lastly, is that it exposes your spiritual gateways to strange spirits. What I mean is, your spiritual gateways are your eyes, your ears, your genitals, your, your mouth. You know, the way you have uh, physical gates, so you also have spiritual gates in your body. The, you know, your body is a spiritual uh, temple for spirits. That is why God said, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. God dwells in your body. But when you expose yourself to pornography by watching these things, what happens is that it defines your eyes. 
it defies your body. The Bible says what comes out of a man, what goes into a man does not defile a man, but it is what comes out of him. Now, when you take in, because when you are watching pornography, you are taking in, you are taking in this corrupt idea, this corrupt knowledge. And you know what is going to happen when it has accumulated. You know what I mean. It begins to manifest in your lust. It begins to manifest in your sexual immoralities. Begin to manifest in your pornography and more and more addiction of uh, pornography. So, as a child of God, if you have least watched this video to this point, I would like you to subscribe and also click the notification bell so that whenever I post a new video, you will be notified. Masturbation and pornography is, will not be good for you as a Christian, as a child of God. And I pray the Lord will help you so to do in Jesus' name. Amen.